Good morning, Rabbi Boisai. Lili Nishmas, Imi Murasi, Ruspas Mordechai, and by Eli Lavi. For that slokha, my son Shlomo ben Sara Esther. And for the Rafur Shlomo, for my two daughters, Zahavid bat Sara and Esther. Uh, sorry, Zahavid bat Sara Esther and Hila bat Sara Esther. Lili Nishmas, our cousin, Rochaleo Basrib Moishe on her sixth yard site. May today's learning be a chusfer and a shama and a source of comfort to the family. Cyril Abram Meir, Yisrael Dovin, Osher Zelig Farkovitz. Shama should have an aliyah. Michael Leichter, in honor of, listen to this, where is he? I don't know if he's here today. Yeah, he's there. In honor of Levi Ethan Leichter. And the great Hillel Kamiansky. That's why he's hiding back there. Can't, you can't get him, you can't get him on camera. I love pictures. Here's Isra Mendel Kuznets, Kuznets and his anical. Amos Polanski learning the daf. Here you go. So, if anybody took the Dirschu test ever, they'll know that it's an extremely, extremely difficult test. I think my highest score, I think it's 96 or 97, I used to work extremely hard, nights. I was up sometimes the entire night before the test. So when I discovered that my Chavrusa, here's his last um, score, 97. It's like, how's it possible? The guy gives the Chazar Shir. He knows about Pe, even without the Chazar Shir, you can't catch him on anything. He gets a 97. 97. So we filmed a, a, like an advertisement for Dirshu here in the Beis Medrash for the Sefer HaMavtech. And I asked their top guy, I forgot his name, Nachman's not here now. I asked their top guy, why, how is it that you did your Kramer only gets a 97? He said, 97? 97 is 100. Whoever gets 97, 97 is 100. We don't give hundreds. The boy said, I'm here to tell you. That there's a guy in our koilo by the name of Elio Jacobs. He works hard. He got a hundred on his digital test. It's almost impossible. And today I'm going to give him a thousand shekel bonus. I mean, it's, we have to double his thing. A hundred, a hundred on a test. That's that's insane. Right, Libby? A hundred on a test. Listen to this. You're going to love this email. Everybody but me. Reveli. This is from Ari Blau from Toronto, Canada. A good friend of mine, Shruli Wolf, first introduced me to you here back in Brochus. Ari. Come sit down. Sit down. Listen to what's going on here. A good friend of mine, Shruli Wolf, first introduced me to you here back in Brochus. However, I must say I was turned off. I thought to myself, who is this guy that spends the first 10 minutes of every share reading emails about how great he is? Rabbi Sai, we're talking about a world-class Baal Baltruva. Fast forward more than a year, and I found myself learning Yuma and yearning for pictures to better visualize the base Hamikdash and the Avaida. I decided to give you share another try. The day that I joined happened to be the episode, the episode, <laughs> when you introduced your Sefer, Guy Videlio. I found myself this time being more intrigued than turned off and decided to roll with it. And boy, was I wrong. You are the opposite of Gaiva. Your humility knows no boundaries. <laughs> Noam, get over here. You have to read this line out loud. Come here. Come here. Get over here. Noam fixed your boy Sai. The only person here that has a little seichel and understands what true enough is. Read it out loud, my friend. And boy, was I wrong. He's going to read it. I know. He's going to make up a Maisa here. <laughs> you are the opposite of an Anav. Your Gaiva knows no bounds. <laughs> no, no, sorry. Right. Listen, we have Yosef who is going to put the Dura around. No, no. Yeah, you can. You're the opposite of a Gaiva. Your humility knows no bounds. It reminds me of something I once heard from our Vionis and Sachs. He was defining humility and quoted C.S. Lewis, who said, humility is not thinking less of yourself, but thinking of yourself less. 
that's not you. <laughs> Keep on going. I know this is really hard for you. This, this sums like torture for him. This is Mama's order. This sums you up beautifully. You're fully aware of the strengths and abilities that Hashem has blessed you with, and use them every day to the max, and you tell everybody about it. <laughs> You're not only a Talmud Chacham. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. No, for sure. You're not only a Talmud Chacham, but an excellent teacher who knows how to engage your Talmudim with great anecdotes and visual learning. Your Talmud Noam Fix. (laughs) 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 Yeah. Look what you did. You blew out out the modem. <laughs> so where do we start from? Uh, what happened? We got a schmooze. We got a schmooze, Gary. It's my out of hand. Okay, can we go? We can sing a song. I die, I die, I die, I Oh, it's solo, solo. Ah, 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 all right, my boys. I <laughs> okay. What really inspires me the most is not just the way you give over the daf, but the way you give it. To, the way you give to others. The way here, get over here, Yaakov. Come here. You're reading this. Yeah. You're complaining. You read it. Okay. Sure. Where, where we at? <laughs> right over here. But what really inspires me the most is not just the way you give over the dust, but the way you give it to others. No. The way you embrace. No, that's not what it says. It no. doesn't? No. But the, uh, you know what it does say? But the way you like to sing and get read letters. Oh, and you know, like that is, it's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Next time you complain about an email, you're coming up here to read it. The way you embrace, welcome, and encourage every member of the MDY family is heartwarming. Your Havasi stroll is contagious and much needed. I think you should consider renaming your savior. Aniva Selio. Rabbi, so here's the bottom line. It takes about a year to chap. I know you guys think, guy, but guy, I'll take you a year. It took him a year. He finally got the idea. I feel privileged to have found you sharing again and to have joined the MDY family. I look forward every morning to the next episode of the Dafiyoimi show starring Rebelli, your new Talmud. And new member of the MDY family, Arye Blau, Toronto, Canada. This is the longest email of all time. What was that, a 15-minute email? With the break. All right, Rabbi Isai, here we go. We're holding the from Gimel Ahmed Aleph. We're middle of the parsha of Parah. Parah Aduma. And as we said yesterday, Omar Ula, Kola Parsha Kula, Mashma Moiti Miyad Mashma, Umashma Memela. Every single word. Every single pasuk could either undo the word before and undo the pasuk before, or just go mimelo, just roll with it. If we want, real quickly, we don't have a lot of time, but on Amit Beis, when given Amit Beis, I would recommend just to look there for a second, five lines down. It says like this: Omar Abasi, when Rabbi Yochanan Shlokish were going through this parsha, Masko mino. They couldn't get a thing. They could. They tried to make it one. Uh, what's it? uniform? Great, thank you. That's the perfect word. One uniform parasha. Everything should flow. They couldn't come up even with the most lumdish of them and and to do different chik. No, they couldn't do it. So what happened is they were like a, a fox in a plowed field. 
they got nothing. Zero. There was no food. There's no 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 gishmaka Torah. El Amri, and this is what they came up with. Mashma moitzmiyad mashma umashma memela. Therefore, every pasuk, every word, we're going to go through it slowly, very very seriously. Easy gemara, small sugyas. Each sugya is two lines. Then you go, you move on to the next one. So now we're, we did already two yesterday. Now we're holding top of the page. Says the Gemara of Shachat Oisa. Says in the Pasuk, Shachat Oisa. That is Pasuk Gimel. Still in Pasuk Gimel. This is the third drush in that one Pasuk. Shlo Yishchoit Acheres Ima. And according to the Taisvis, you shot him over here. It means do not shecht a second animal with it. We already said there's no second animal. So the Taisi Shana points out that maybe you have a very long knife. It's not with it. It's 100 feet away. But you do in one swoop, swoop, fell swoop motion. You cut two. Pasuk says you can't do the shkita to another one. The shokhat isa, only it, not a second one. Lifanov. It says in the Pasuk Lifanov. Also in that Pasuk, Pasuk Gimel. Lirav. Rav holds. That his, we're talking about his bull. He's the only one that checks his bull, the Kohen Gadol, not a czar. So therefore, the word lefanav does not mean we're talking about a, another person standing in front of the Kohen Gadol. It's the Kohen Gadol himself. So as we learned yesterday, this is not a big chiddush. We learned this yesterday. You have to be concentrated on what you're doing. You cannot think about other things. You can't do other things. The Shmuel, but Shmuel says the opposite. Allah is watching somebody else do it in front of him. In other words, a Yisrael could perform the Shechita. So what does it mean, Lefanov? Shehazar, Shoychet, Velazaraya. That's exactly what we said yesterday. That's, that's what the Pasuk is coming to say. Ve'lokach, Elazar. This is Pasuk Dalet. The, the following Pasuk. Now, this word is completely extra. Why is Elazar extra? We're talking about Elazar. We're talking, it says in the Pasuk before, Elazar. He takes blood seven times with his finger. He dips it in seven times, sprinkles, sprinkles towards the base of Lishmuel. Now we understand what Lahaitzi Mashma. This is coming to undo what we said a second ago. What did we say a second ago according to Shmuel? That it's kosher with the Yisrael. Comes the passing and says, now. That was that. That was Shechita. The Shechita is the Yisrael. Now I'm going back. I have to give it back to Lazar. Lazar, the Kayan. Only the Kayan could dip his finger in the blood and sprinkle. So that's mighty mashma. The Rav, also mighty mashma. Why? The Rav, who says that what? Who does the Shechita? Levi, who does the Shechita? The Kayan Gadol. Have a mirach and So why does it say Lazar again? I said that by Shechita, it's a Lazar. Then the second, the Pasuk Dal, it says, a Lazar. To tell me, miyot achar miyot, it's one miyot after another, ve miyot achar miyot, the rabbis to include, to add something else, the filu koyen hedyot, even the non koyen gadol, it has to be a koyen, non. So what is this? That's also mighty. A second ago I said it has to be a koyen gadol. And now I'm saying that the sprinkling of the blood could be a koyen hedyot. Ve lokach ha koyen, eitz erez ve ezoi vushnito ilohas, lishmuel, who until now we're talking about Elazar, Again, we have another Maitzi. Because Shmuel says we're talking about a Kayin Gadol and he's going to flip it. That filu be Kayin Hed. Yeah? You see how these Pesukim are going? We're jumping from person to person to think to thing. That's Maitzi, Maitzi, Maitzi. Or Memela is going to be, once in a while, it's calm. So now, a second ago, we're talking about a Lazar. Now we're talking about a filu Kayin Hed. Yeah? Could do what? Could take the wood, the, 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 the red string, toss it into the fire. Even a Kayin Hed. Yeah? The Rav. But here is a Mela. Because a second ago, Rav said that Philo with Kayin Hedyot, that the sprinkling of the blood is talking about a non Kayin Gadol. So we're, we're continuing with the non Kayin Gadol, it's a Kayin Hedyot. That's called Mela, nothing changed. It's Rich. So why does the Torah have to say it? Velakach Kayin. There's no point of saying Kayin. Velakach, the person that I just said a second ago that sprinkles the blood, which is who? A Kayin Hedyot, a regular Kayin. He will take velakach, and he should take it. Why does the Torah have to say hakayin? So I mean, no, the lav gufo the paradinu. It's a side avoda. It's not with the meat of the paraduma. It's with trees and with strings. Loy lebay kayin. Even a yisrael could do it. Kamash walan hakayin. Great, right? It's easy stuff. Very hard to remember, though. If you're taking a dirshat test, this would be murder. V'chibes begodav hakayin. 
Again, the word kain is extra. That's who we're dealing with, a kain the whole time. So the, the Gemara says, Bichi hunai. He must be wearing his big day kuhuna. Is this memela or maitzi? It's memela. Nothing changed. It's the same person. He just has to wear big day kain. He can't wear jeans. Vitame hakoyen adarev. What's this kain again? For future generations. Now yesterday we had a machloikis. What happens in future generations? We were talking about a koyen, this gan koyen. Does it jump up to a koyen gadol or go down to a regular koyen? That was the machloikis. We have machloikis. That it goes down. And the Gemara said that makes a lot of sense. Why? Because the Torah doesn't specify who. So it's any koyen. Shapir. That makes sense over here also. Great. This is a little bit of a, you have to look in the bottom to find the pshat. But if you say that in the future generations, a kain gadol must perform it. Hashta kain gadol be'inon b'chiyunim So the pshat is like this. If you need a kain gadol to do the shechita, according to you, Rav, then how could it jump two madregas down? A kain and with jeans. That doesn't make sense. You want to go down one madriga to a kain, great. But to jump from a kain gadol all the way to, to a kain wearing jeans, that I'm not, I'm not going to accept. It's like a kavachai. Says Gemara, in. I still need to say it, even though you have a nice kavachai, that you can't wear jeans. Milstas, kavachai, don't have a kavachai, don't Sometimes, even though you can learn with kavachai, the Pasuk says it specifically. Now we go to Pasuk Tess. Vasa vishtare sefer ha niach. Somebody comes along. And does a sifa. What? My God, thanks. Super thirsty. Okay, so here. You remember, this, this was the list. Shoyich et maz, a sifa sefer. Towards the end, someone has to gather the ashes. And then what do you do? You, 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 you mix it with water. So... V'asav ish tar, ish tar. What is he? Tamay before. I mean, what's going on? Why does the tar have to talk about him and explain to me who he is and what he's doing? Ezev ha'par v'niach. Ish, I'm going to be mighty now. I'm changing. I'm changing directions. L'hachshur sezar. To gather the, the afer, the ashes, you don't need a kain. So I'm mighty. I was talking about a kain up until now. I'm going away from a kain. Even in Yisrael. Tahar, again. I'm going to be mighty. Lahachshu seisha, even a woman. Now, interesting because it says tar, so I would think, and not a tummy. Well, Rashi points out they can, I can never think that it's a person who's tummy because it says by paraduma the word chatos, and chatos means like a carbon. So you can't be tummy when you do a carbon. So that was posh that it wasn't somebody that's tummy. So the word tar means to say that a woman. You come and do the avoda, the the afer. Viniach, mish yesh boy das lahaniach. You have to have intelligence. You can't just be a shaita. Yotzu cheresh shaita vekaton. In those days, cheresh doesn't mean a deaf person. That means a deaf mute, someone who is illiterate, can't speak, can't write. Can so in those days it was shaita, shaita vekaton. They don't have that. Shemim das lahaniach. Okay. Now, what about the next step? So we're talking about a sifas afer. A woman can do it. A nakatan cannot do it. A woman can, katan not. And now we're going to see a shita that flips it in the next thing. Milimayim, the kiddush. We call it kiddush. Not also. Hakol chirim lekadesh chutz mecheresh shaita vikatan. Okay. That fits with what we were saying. Tanakama says, a cheresh shaita vikatan cannot perform the kiddush. <laughs> The mixing of the water, just like he couldn't perform that sifa. Review the machshir bekatan, upaisel beishu bandreginos. You hear this? Rabbi Yehuda is pungfakert because he's being mighty. So if a katan was puzzled by a sifa, so a katan is going to be kosher by milimayim by kiddush. And if a isha was sheira by the sifa of the efer, she's going to be puzzled there. On the dafir. First time I saw this in Shas. Can anybody figure out real quickly the gematria of androgynous? If you take the, the, big, the big letters in androgynous, the resh, 
the nuns, two nuns, the yod, you, you come up to 370. The small, the small letters is another 20. 390. Says the Rebbe Nutam, brought down in here in the Mishnah Shoshrenim. What's an Androgynos? Androgynos is a mixture, a person who's both a Zohar and a Nekeva. Zohar vin Nekeva is 390. Never knew that. Yeah. Remember this for all of Shas. This is for all of Shas. Because it's not a Zohar Nekeva. It's a Zohar vin Nekeva. It's both. The person is a Zohar and a Nekeva. Zohar vin Nekeva equals 390. Do the math. You'll see it adds up. You don't even need a Kailo. You don't need anything. Fine. But Akoponim, and the reason why an Andragonus is, is possible over here, because Andragonus is like a woman. She, he has a woman in him. He's, he's both. Okay. My time there, Abonon. Why do they say that it's one for one? That if Basifa Sefer, Khatan is possible, and Isha is Kshaira, so too by Milumai. Why? They'll say, but Lakhu, Natami, if I have Sefer Sechatos. Part of the Psidol of Basifa, Basil of Bikidosh. Part of the Akshil of Basifa, Akshil of Bikidosh. Okay, so it's the same. Whatever you have by Sifa, you have by Milu. Verbi Huda, Imkain, Le Makro, Vilokach. In the parsha of Asifa, the Pasuk of Asifa, it says in singular. So if you're talking about the same individual that's, that's, that, that we're talking about by Asifa, that's kosher, so just should have used the same Lashen by, by the Kiddush, by the mixing of the water. Why all of a sudden change it to plural? So therefore, it goes like this. I don't know if you need a chart. Why not? By a sifa, you have a woman who's sheira and a cotton that's puzzle. And by kiddush, you have a isha that's psula and a cotton that's kosher. You just reverse it. Why? Because of the different lashon. The filu cotton, the pasul lachasam, hacha kosher. And isha menale. And how do you know that a woman is psula by the mixing of the water? By the way, I keep on saying mixing of the water because Rashi mixed me up because in one point he says over here, you pour the water on the afer, and then he says you pour the afer on the water. Kids are some machloikis in a, in a different masechta and it, for some reason he, he uses both. So the mixing, the mixing of the water and the ashes, however you do it. It says, It says, It says, It says, It says, It would say both singular, I would think the same individual that does a Sifa Sefer, gathers the ashes, he must be the one that does the mix. I wanted you to know that other people are involved here. This one, Ruvain, does the Sifa, Shimon could go ahead and mix it. How do I know? Because it says, it doesn't say the same guy. If it would have said, so it just means the same individual that did the Sifa, he has to do the mixture. But since the Torah used a different Lashem, so it's somebody else also. Because Rahman of Allah Khubinasnu, but if I would continue with that Lashan, and I would say the same people that took it also mixed it, have Amina, the Shakli Tre, Vyavit Tre. You'd have to literally have two people that do that Sifa and two people that do the mix. Because Rahman of Allah Khubinasan, the Fidu Shakli Tre, Vyav Chad. Therefore, I know from here that it's one and one, but different ones. If we would just say Vilokach, Vilokach, I would think it's the same guy. And if we would say, I would say, I need two people to do Asifa and two people to do the mix. Now that I do singular and plural, I know it's two different people and you only need one on each. So bottom line is that according to Rabbanon, it's Mimela. It continues with the same thing. And according to Behuda, he's changing. Right? According to Rabbanon, the cotton is, the cotton that's, that's puzzle. Look, the cotton that's puzzle by Asifa, according to Chacham, is puzzle by Kiddush. And the Isha that's Kshere by Asifa is Kshere by Kiddush. So nothing changed. It's Memela. But according to Behuda, it's mighty. He's switching. He went from Isha Kshere to Isha Psula, from cotton puzzle to cotton kosher. So he's a mighty. Okay, so now, sometimes you have everybody's mighty, and sometimes you have everybody's Memela, and sometimes you have one, one is mighty, one is Memela. Okay. But each, the, what's good about the sugya is that each, every two lines is another sugya. You don't have to hold cup what's going on before. It's new psukya. Here, new, new, new sugya. Rabbi said, you just showed up to share. We can start a new sugya right now. 
Again, the Ishtar is extra. It says he takes the, the Ezer, the Haisaf, and he puts it in water and he sprinkles. We're talking about the final, final step of sprinkling, making somebody tar with the paraduma. But what's this Ishtar? Wasn't he tar before? Lir Rabbanon, so again, they're going to be mighty. Now, Rabbanon who were quiet before the women Mela, now they're going to be mighty. Now what? Ishvelayisha. A woman is possible for this. Tahar, lahachshur sakatan. And I, until now, Chachamim said that a katan was possible. Katan is kosher now for sprinkling. No, 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 no. This was the first step. The, not the, oh, no, no, no. But, but that, was, that was according to review, though. No, no, no. This, this, is, this is a chart of review, though. Review is the one that did a flip. Flip a Chacham were the memela. Whatever was over by Sifa was by Kiddush. And now they're changing it and saying a katan is not possible over here. A Sifa and Kiddush were the same according to Chachamim, which means the katan was possible. And now they're saying katan is kosher. No, this is on Harazasim. All this is Harazasim. This is the Paraduma on Harazasim. Okay. No, just the cotton. And why? Good question. He's asking, he's asking, does it mean that a cotton is kosher and a shoit is also kosher? The answer is no. What's the difference? Yes, they might have the same intellectual level at this point. But a cotton eventually is going to be a bardas. So because he's eventually going to grow into a seichel, so we give him more credit today. The rabbi in Israel, Aisha, Torah, Lash, is a cotton. Ul Rabbi Huda. And now Rabbi Huda is also a mighty. Ish, Veloy cotton. Tar, Lash, is a Isha. Rabbi Huda says over here, cotton is okay. Now he's flipping back. Cotton is not okay. And a woman, she's fine. So, anyways, everybody in this case is a mighty. Meisvei. We have a problem with Rabbi Huda, sort of. Why? Because it says Mefurish like Chachamim. Hakol Kshirim Lahazis Chutz Metumtum Adrigis Veisha. A woman is not kosher. You just told me a woman is kosher according to Rabbi Huda. Aisha is not kshira. Vikatan Shish Boidas. And a katan has a little seichel. Ishim Sayatim is Umazah. Let's say he doesn't know. He can't do it. It's too heavy for him. A woman who's possible. You hear what's going on here? His mom, who she can't do it by herself. Uh, here, come, Kindle, uh, uh, Yankel, come, let me help you. And she, she helps him spread, sprinkle. And that's okay. Why? Because the katan is kosher. The woman is psula, but she could help her son. But that's not like what Rebu- Rebuda says. Now we turn to Mem Gimel and Beis, sponsor for Shidduch, Vest, Dvaribas, Le Gittol, and Dvaribas, Suri. And Lili Nishma has the Miron victims, before Shlevi for the Miron victims. The MDY Chabura is truly one big family. And as the Gemara of Le Polyg Rabbi Yehuda, he agrees to that. You just said a second ago that a woman is Kshayro according to Rabbi Yehuda. And now it says, Omer is Psula. Omer Abaya. Ki vindo Omer Mar Mashma Moitzi Miyad Mashma. There's only two options. Well, it's always like that. It's either we do a flipperoo or we don't do a flipperoo. Um Mashma Meila. Polyg. What's going on here? According to Chacham, we're flipping. Yeah? Chacham and flipped. They went from that Isha is psula to Isha is kshayra. So Rabbi also has to flip. They're both flipping, but they started off at different points. They, they started off at the opposite, so they both have to flip to the opposite of where they are. If you're flipping Chacham, you have to flip Rabbi Yehuda. You can't just flip. Why are you flipping? Because it's an extra word. The whole, the whole thing is extra, right? The, the words are extra, so that's why Chacham had to flip. And Chacham started off saying that Isha is psula, the step before is psula, so in this one, she's Kshayra. So Rabbi Huda has said that a Isha is Kshayra. He must say that a Isha is Psula. Because it's extra words. Otherwise, the Torah didn't have to say all those words. So in Meila, it's obvious that Rabbi Huda argues. And you ask me, Akasha, it says Mufurish in the Bryce, not like Rabbi Huda? Too bad. The Bryce just didn't say Rabbi Huda Shita. We, we thought you understood by yourself that, he's a fli- that everybody's flipping. Wherever you are, you're going to flip the opposite direction. And he was the opposite. So he's going to say that a woman is kosher now. Yeah? Okay, we're almost done. Last one. It says that the tar. Hmm? Gam. Okay. okay. I'm not starting Simonim after Mem Gimel, but you could call up Zichu guy and tell him. Mashma Moiti, Simon Gam. Okay. 
משמע על... ואי זה התואר על התומי. תואר מקלט שהוא תומי. It seems like he was Tommy once upon a time. Limit al tful yoyim shikasher b'paro. That what? A tful yoyim is a person who's toivel today, and he's waiting for erev shemesh. What's very interesting is if you recall, we all recall that we took this guy that was 100% tar and made him tame because of this, because the tzedukim don't believe in this, in this pasuk, the way you're darshin this pasuk. We're darshining that even a person who's semi tame. What does that mean? He went to the mikvah already. He's just waiting for the sun to come down. But between the time that he went to the mikvah and the sun, he's a little bit tame to the point that he can be metama truma and kachim. He's very little tame. That guy could do hazo. Where Zukim don't believe in that. Zukim say, no, he has to be 100% tar. And we would make him tame and go to the mikvah to show that the Zukim are wrong. <clears throat> okay, fine. Omar Abasi. Omar Abasi. So this we did for a second. Kamabar Rabbi Yochanan, Rish Lakish Bipara, Lemasim Yonar Le Kemai, Kemai the Masik Talon Bey Krava. When Rabbi Yochanan and Shlakish were doing the whole parish in the Torah, and it was so confusing. Look what we just went through. This one is this, and he switches from a woman, Kshayra to a woman, Psul, and then he back to Psul, and back to Kshayra. What is going on? They try to make some sort of uniform. Pshad and the parish, and they couldn't come up with anything. The most they could come up with was like dust on the foot of a fox going through a plowed field. I didn't even have to make this. this here's a picture. Here's a plowed field. Here's a fox. The kids here, no food, nothing. No good pshatim, no, no tires garnished. So we, we're, we're stuck with what we have. That's it. It is what it is. You know, uh, the whole parish of Para is a, a chaik. It's it's a chayk. It, it, it is not a. It doesn't make sense to us. So there's a lot of things that don't. Cotton is kosher. Cotton is possible. The isha sometimes yes, sometimes not. It's a chayk. Fine. Says the Gemara. El Amri. Mashma wait to me. Mashma. Sometimes you have to undo the pasuk before or even the word before. Mashma mevela. And sometimes it just goes. Tani kamei. Tani tana kamei the Rebbe They had the speaker that was saying over in front of Rebbe Yechonon. Anybody could perform a shechita anytime in the Beis Hamikdash besides para aduma. That's what the Tana said. Tana not meaning like a Tana. Tana. Omer le Rabbi Yechon. Puk tenei le bara. Go outside. Get out of here. I don't want to hear you. Lo imotzinu shechita bezar psula. There's no such thing. What are, you, what are you darshaning here? Every shechita, including para aduma, a Yisrael could perform the shechita. Why are you saying shtusim in, in my base measures? Get out! There was once uh, a bachar that was arguing with Rebaran Kotler. He was arguing back and forth. Rebaran was getting upset with him and they're arguing, arguing. Finally he says, get out of here. Get out! So the bachar that were there said, Rebbe, you already left. He said, he already left. Bring him in and throw him out. That's what he said. Sometimes you have to throw a guy out. Sometimes that's the... Um, yeah. Zog to Gemara. Rabbi Yochanan, let me buy the Tana of the Obviously, he's not going to listen to this Tana that, that's, that's saying, that's, that's repeating his Torah, that, that's, that's saying things over. He doesn't have to listen to him. Even to his own Rebbe, he didn't listen. He said over in the name of his Rebbe. My Rebbe says that Yisrael is not a shech to para aduma. And I'm chayil on him. Who's who said that all the way in the beginning of the sugya yesterday? Shmuel. Shmuel is the one that says that shechita is on a para aduma is muta bizar. Rab is the one that says also. Remember, we even said it today. Lefanov, not Lefanov. <clears throat> All right. Baloi Eitzel Parishnia. So he comes to his cow, to his bull, for the second time. Ask the Gemara, Maishna Bividi Risho in Deloi Omar Ubni Aaron Amkti Shecha. What's up with the second Vidui that all of a sudden he sticks in all his brothers, the Kaihanim, his boys? Umaishna Bividi Shaini, Domar Ubni Aaron Amkti Shecha. Why the second one? He sticks in the Kayanim, and the first one, he doesn't have the Kayanim. Says the Gemara, amazing Yisoyed. 
Tari de Beri Bishmal, Kachim Midas Hadin Oisenis, this makes a lot of sense. Mutav Yavo Izakai Bi Chaper Lachayev. Let him first get his kapara. Let him deal with himself. Let him get a kapara so he asks for himself and his family. Now what's beautiful is, what's beautiful that it's not tonight, tomorrow. Okay. So, now we have to be very, with him, with the if there's, if there's, listen, if there's tachlan today, it doesn't count. We're not going to give you any cover. But you better come, the whole Shabbat brachas. Yeah, real. Okay, so the first thing about it, the first vidui, he sticks his family in there. He needs his wife because, as we see, a kain gadol needs a wife, and without the wife, you hear this, Mamish, you came on time. Yaakov Citron, the chassan, is getting married in two days. You need your wife. Without a wife, you're nothing. You're not a kain. You cannot be a kain gadol. Not only that, you see from this gemara. That without the wife, first he needs a kapar for him and his wife. How come he doesn't have a kapar? I'm asking you a question. You should do a kapar for himself, and in Vidu Shaini, stick your wife and children and the other Kayanim. No. First, it's you and your wife. If you don't have a kapar for you and your wife, which are one, you are nothing without your wife. You hear it? It's Isai. You need your wife. What? It's emes. It's not a chiddush. It's emes. A kohen gadol without a wife is not a kohen gadol. But not only says that, it says that he needs a kapar with his wife in order to give a kapar to the kohen. Says the mission, the heading mission, the official mission is sponsored. L'schos, the MDY team. We're talking about his bull, shchatai. He has to shecht the bull. V'kibel b'mizrak is damai. Very interesting. It doesn't say kratai. It says shchatai. So you think maybe perhaps this idea of Kratzoy, what's Kratzoy, you remember? He shakes a little bit and he runs and he does Kabbal Saddam. Over here it says Shkata. You could almost be Medaik that he does the full Shkita and then he does Kabbalah. In fact, the Tferis Yisrael says that he, he doesn't do, he does the whole Shkita, he, does, he don't do Kritza because he's so, it's, it's a void that's Miyuchat for Yom Kippur. We're not concerned, that's what he says. But others argue on him and who? Lamed Bay, Kratzai, Lamed Bays. Great. Let's see you do something from 20 daf ago. Were you giving me something at 10 daf ago? So here's the picture. Here's the coin Gadol in white. He does Kabbalah Saddam and he gives it over to another Kayan so he could continue mixing. Because if the blood congeals, he can't do Zrik on the Mizbeach. Where does he put the blood? We're going to see in the Gemara, it's not literally in the Heichal, it means in the Azara. Revi is the fourth Balata, the, this tiles in the base of Mikdash. You can see over here, one, two, three, four. Four tiles, and they put them over here by the fourth step. One, two, three, four. That's where they put them. This goes according to Rashi, and this is what the Tais Rit says in the Ritva, the Shidus Rav, Shulam Vaechal Dusha Achas. Okay, that's what it says. Not a machto. He takes the shovel. Here, Vaalo the Rishem is Beach, and he goes up onto the Mizbeach with his shovel. We're going to see what kind of shovel it is in a second. Upin Gecholam Eilach Veilach, and he starts moving this, the the coals to the side, trying to get the glowing, the best of the best. And he tries to get the inner glowing coals. Now he has a shovel full of coals. He takes them and he places them according to this again. The same place. Here's the guy mixing the blood where we le- he left him five minutes ago. Here he is. He places the burning hot coals on a river the ravi. It's also in the same. If you notice here in the Mishnah, it says Bazara, and before it said Heichal, different Lashem. Here, picture. Every day in the weekday, he needed calls for the Ktaris. We're talking about Ktaris here. What do you need calls for? Ktaris. Here's the kind of Gadol during the weekday because he's wearing Shemayn of Gadol, not the white. And he takes from a silver shovel and he pours it into the gold shovel. Okay. 
weakness. We are concerned about his weakness. We don't want him to get weak on Yom Kippur. So he doesn't go from here to there and start pouring. That's extra strength. That takes energy, more calories. One shovel and that's it. A smaller, lighter, longer handle shovel. You think I need this? I have this. What are you talking about? Okay. Uh, Every day it was four kav, about a hundred eggs worth. And then he'd pour it into the three, like 75 eggs worth. So one whole kav would fall to the floor. They would sweep it up and put it into the ama to the drain system. And that's it. Today, we have not so concerned it should be overflowing, less work. One shovel, it's three, it's the exact amount. So he shouldn't become weak. Every day it was six kav. And three would fall to the side and remain with three. And today he would do three. Every day was heavy. Here, that's why I brought this. Look at this. If I take this and put it under my arm, I can hold it like this. In other words, my arm is holding a lot of the weight. Now that I go like this, I'm sharing the weight with my, with my elbow. So it's much easier. During the week, I have to go like this, and that's heavy. What's the word? I forgot the word. That, uh, the, the, the pressure from here. Um, no, not torque. What? No, not for me. Okay, whatever. We'll figure it out after Sheer. Somebody will send it in. They, they know what I'm talking about. Leverage. Or oh, maybe leverage is the word I'm looking for. The leverage. Fulcrum, fulcrum. There's, too much, there's a lot of leverage here. There's a lot of, there's three kav of stuff and it's heavy. But if I'm allowed to use this, then it takes away from the leverage. I'm, I'm, I'm evening it out. Okay, fine. No, I think leverage was the word I was looking for. Maybe there's a better one. Not fulcrum, because in Panovich we didn't use that, so it's for sure not that. Every day the gold was yellow, not green. Yellow gold. Today it's red gold, the best of the best. Rabbi said, today on Yom Kippur. How many Ktairuses are there on Yom Kippur? Anybody? How many Ktairus? Three. Because every day there's two. And on Yom Kippur, there's one extra one where you take the shovel. Remember, we had the ladle, the whole thing. You put it into the, the Kodesh Kedashim, you leave it there. So that's the extra one. So, you do a half a month in the morning, half a, in the evening. And today, another one for Kodesh Kedashim, Miloy Chafna. Handful. Remember, that's why we had this, and he pours it into his hand like that slowly, and then it's, it's a void that that's what they, they learn in base of Tina, the, the whole thing. Okay. Every day was very fine. I believe, according to Rashi, it seems like. They don't really discuss it. I looked in the, the, the Masifti, it doesn't bring this Rashi for some reason. But the, it seems like from Rashi, only the Kaidish Kadashim Ktoiris was Dakim and Adako. Not all three. Here's the picture of all the different machtas. Here's the, the, the yellow gold. Here's the red. And here's the silver. But here's what's interesting. Here we're holding. You go up this way. On the Mizrach. Right? This is Mizrach down here. So this side. Because you want to turn to the right. So you go up the ramp. You make a right turn. And you make all your pneus to the right, but you don't come back the same way you came up. You come back on the left side of the ramp. But the Kayin Gadol is going to go up the center and down the center. Let's see Rashi for a second. Rashi is the He is the messenger of a Klai Yisrael. He lives here. He belongs here. He's not going to be, go to the side and then sneak around on the right side, come out of the left. He goes like a melech straight, straight down the middle because he represents Klai Yisrael. Okay, 
Any way he feels like, says Rashi. Every day, he could go up the middle, down the middle. Every day, the Kohen Gadol uses the water directly out of the faucet. Not like this picture, out of the faucet. But today, he has a special kli, he has a ketone, he has a pitcher, he fills that up, and he uses it special for Yom Kippur. Not true. Every day of the year, Kohen Gadol uses the ketone. There are four fires on the on the on the Mizbeach. Here's the main one. But they took tires from the smaller one, and then we have two other ones. The Gemara is going to describe. You don't need a picture, but here it is. It's a visualization. Here's five. No, I'm getting ready for Tilm. Every day is three, one more is four. Today is only three. Have a wonderful day. She let him shoot my book, she made him a bucket. I've been trying to get him to move the doors. Move this one, it's nothing in the sun. So, so she will. I'm the baby, you baby, you should have a hundred and seventy five. Stop. She grabbed no, I'm going to go. What's that? I'm going to go. Yeah. You know, a Victor fooled, he came to my Kiddush. Uh, where was he? He was in Yerushalayim? Wow. He was in Yerushalayim Shabbos and he walked into the Kiddush. Wow. Only, only wow. there is Yid over there. The only, uh, no, I should say the Tilumi guy. He, <laughs> came, he, came, he came with a gun. Here's Rebelli. He came with a gun and his son. And he's sitting there enjoying the herring and the kugel. And the other guy asked him, who's this guy? I told him, this is Nachav from Dachvayami. <laughs> it's not much beautiful. Listen, you don't understand. Seriously, lat lat. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna change the world. Lat lat. Uh, it's know. crazy. They, they 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 never saw that Tilumi guy in their life. Sitting down. No, there. One, one guy asked me, "Is this by any chance Elie Stefanski is here?" So I says, "Yeah. How do you know?" He says, "Who else could it be?" <laughs> <laughs> you mean he didn't know you go to the shear? He didn't he, know go to the shear. He 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 just knows about it. He knew about him, but he doesn't, he doesn't come. Beautiful. Ari Bloom, again, I'm the spell from your writing. I really, I love your writing. It's beautiful. Seriously. Oh, that's good. The guy who saw what he does, he takes my, my story and he he writes it beautifully. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Was but it that? Been you been been that was the only one you came up with this week. Not a lot of classics. Um, that, was, that, was, that was what was there, yeah? I, like I love Howie. That was there. Hi y'all, how you doing? Josh, how are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Really, when are we gonna see you? Oh, so the I think the, the, the wedding is officially on August 1st. Da, da, da. August 1st. August 1st is the is the wedding and the Shabbos Shever Brock, as I just found out last night, is going to be in Borough Park. Woo! Woo! It's getting better and better. Huh? Getting better and better. Where would the walking go? Which city? To? Which city? August first. At, at, at least, mo at least most of the borough parkers will be in the country. <laughs> August first, I'm not saying. <laughs> Me, I'm here. Oh he my god! Have a he won't have a problem with parking. Yeah. Leave plenty of park. <laughs> Definitely not. What city? Yeah, Bally. Bally, what city? What city? The wedding? The wedding? Yeah. Chicago. Chicago. No. Oh really? Will. Oh. Will. All right. Will. Oh. <laughs> Oh, all right. It's, it's, it's an excuse for vacation for all the Americans. We oh, also have to go, what, to go to the highest crime city in the world. Well, it's a secret. It's, it's really a secret because my son doesn't want a lot of people. We're doing a very, very small wedding. Very, really? very small. Yeah. Well, a, what, a corona, corona wedding? I'll tell you this it's on a golf course. That's all I can tell you. I can't. I'm not not privileged to say. 
I'm only he only even though I'm paying for the wedding, he only allows me to bring a certain amount of friends. Yeah, you guess. Yeah, hold on a second. Excuse me. Now we're gonna find out. Now we're gonna find out who your real friends are now. Who you can tell? Definitely, we have a WhatsApp group. Well, we'll have to see. I'm I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We have a WhatsApp group. Not too too many Chicago guys in the share. There's not too many Chicago guys in the share, so we could all come. No, I said we have a WhatsApp. We have a WhatsApp group. Revelli. Friends of MD1. You know, I would say I'd come visit you, but I'm not going to be in your shiver then. Mm. Why? Oh, hey, it starts on the 26th in August. Starts on the 26th of August. But first, you have to be invited. Uh, it's a small God, affair. God. <laughs> it's gonna crash. Oh, yeah. I might have to come visit you, Gedalia. I might have just have to come wow. I'm fine with that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, we, no, we made a deal, so I can't say anything. So um, I'm not saying right. I'm not telling you to come visit me. You should know <laughs> I'm pushing off the the uh, meaningful people as long as I can, because the longer it doesn't come out, you won't know what happened if I mentioned you or not. <laughs> by, by, by the by, there I know it. every week I'm in those podcasts if I can find the one that's where you're waiting for. Shalai Brushos, I'm looking at Shalai Brushos. Hopefully, it doesn't have what I'm talking about. <laughs> Hey, when, when they coming out? I'm, I'm looking the whole time. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I think Nassan Al Gant spoke to them. He wants it to come out uh, right before Masefta Sukkah. Like he's pushing it off. I don't know why. He, he doesn't he doesn't feel he feels like it, it's a waste of time to come out now. It should come like together with a big push to start Masefta Sukkah. That like a lot of advertising Masefta Sukkah slash meaningful people will be like a tremendous amount of. They want to. They want to give out about fifteen hundred gemaras. They're thinking that it, there might be fifteen hundred people joining. Wow. The, pe- wow. the people that join, the people that join now with Yuma with the gemaras, did they really join a lot of them? Yeah. Six hundred gemaras. Zoom is exactly the same thing. Listen, uh, six hundred and fifty people got gemaras. Maybe two hundred stayed. I think. No, but on the Zoom on the Zoom, it doesn't look like it went up so much. Ah, oh, because there's a lot of Americans. Well, Zoom is America. The, the, the Gemaras are usually in America, and the, the, to, to have people <laughs> stay up at 12, 15 in the morning to go live is very difficult. And that's a lot, of YouTube. Uh, a lot of YouTubers. How many people were on Zoom today? What's the what's the height of Zoom on a regular 81. day? 81. How many? 81. I'm just CEO of 81. 81. I think it was a little more, 84, so at one point. That's really bad. That's Mama's a drop. Oh, but it's, it's, well, a lot of people are mismatched now. It's very possible people switched to YouTube because it was very bad. Oh, no, yeah. What's that? Bad. We, had, we had about 80 oh. at one point. Usually yeah. talk 100, and then we have like LA. back on uh, YouTube. Ellie. Yeah. yeah. I, I just sort of... Uh, I, this is how I watch. I, I just had a, a brainchild. Yeah, mm-hmm. what? Well, I think you might you might agree. I always agree to you. Yeah, what? Okay. What's, what, yeah. On on this Zoom, we have we we have a CEO, right? Yeah. That's you, right? Yeah. Oh. We have a oh. we also have a oh. president. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Oh. The president has to be voted in. <clears throat> oh. Who's the president? Who's the pre- Let me hear. Who's the president? Me. <laughs> oh, you can't. What, you, what is this? This is a dictatorship. This it's is a, a, it's a coup. Country. It's a coup. That you need. You need to go down. Okay. The the president's voted in. No, <laughs> self-appointed. Self-appointed. You should start sending it out. You should start uh, mail-in ballots. You have to campaign. You no. might win. You don't have a lot of competition, but you know if Yoel goes up against you, he has the experience no. of CEO. All right, um, listen, Ellie. What's you, Ellie? You think, um, I think, that, I think, you? I think you're losing a little bit of a step here because you forgot to remind me to go to Shafras the last few days. What? I was trying to. You know, they could bring it up in the debates. What the hell is this? I get All right, guys, I got to run okay. the show. Have a great day. Take care. Hey. Hey, I sent you a message. Okay. Yeah, All right. We'll, we'll be in touch. Yeah. Don't worry.